Yo hoes! Well, this is a different kind of video. Actually, a lot of stuff I've been doing recently has been kind of different. Whatever. So I just got back from Japan. I'll be posting a whole video about it. I vlogged the entire thing. As a matter of fact, it's probably out before this. This video is going to be a Japan haul video. Because let me tell you, I bought so much in Japan. I never treat myself like that. Usually if I'm buying a lot of stuff, it's for a costume. When I dedicate myself to a costume, I go out and buy everything I need, no questions asked. I just want it to look good, so I splurge my money on that. Going on this trip, I told myself, you are going overseas for the first time in your life. You're going to freaking Japan. Freaking buy whatever you want. When I buy stuff, it's more of like a, do I need this? Do I really want this? Where am I going to use this. I try not to buy anything unless I love it. And I do truly love a lot of the stuff that I got. Let's just jump into it. Merry Christmas. I wanna get started with um, some gifts. The very first thing that I received coming into Japan, you saw this on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, Archer Ninja Turtle. Come on and slam. And welcome to Japan. I don't even know where the meme started, but I love Space Jam and my friend Sarah, who I stayed with the whole time, she made me this. When she picked me up from the airport, this is what she held up at the gate. It says my name in Japanese. I'll say it now, shout out to Sarah for basically being the reason I went to Japan. She gave me a place to stay. She was my translator. She showed me around. She showed me the ropes because without her, I would have been completely lost. So thank you, Sarah. Love you. Also, when I got there, Sarah had already gotten me a few little gifts. First of all, I got this adorable Monsters, Inc. Um, it's supposed to be a lunch bag. In case you didn't know, I love Monsters, Inc. It's my favorite Pixar movie. Sarah got me this bag at the dollar store, I think. And I think I'm gonna be using it as a new makeup bag because I don't really like the makeup bag I have right now. It doesn't really scream me, but this does. And inside here, I have kept my other little gift she got me. Sully socks and a Monsters, Inc. ice tray. Got little characters, Sully, Mike, Randall, and a few others. You're gonna see a lot of Monsters, Inc. stuff in this haul, just so you know. For some reason, Monsters, Inc. is really big in Japan, and I am for it. So I think this was actually my first purchase in Japan, if I remember right. Actually, my first purchase was, um, drinks. <laughs> Apparently, arm warmers are very commonplace in Japan, mostly for the sake of not getting tan there. They like to stay pale. And for most of the time I was there, it was raining and cold. I wore these under everything. I got them in pure black and I got them in stripey stripes. Here we have some surgical masks. I don't think a lot of people know this, but in Japan, it's very commonplace to wear surgical masks over your face to either one, keep yourself from getting sick. I'm one of those people who get sick literally every time I travel. So when you travel, someone from Japan might be wearing a surgical mask to keep themselves from getting sick, keeping all the germs out. Or they might be sick and they're doing a common courtesy of covering their face so no one else gets sick. Or it's a fashion statement. They come in different colors and they make you look really cool. And when you wear one, you don't have to put makeup on half of your face. So I actually got sick while I was in Japan. So you might have seen on my Instagram that I was wearing these. Unfortunately, it took me to my my last day to find one that was pure black. But you know, you just put one face. And you got an edgy little accessory. And no one cares, this is normal in Japan. Come on, America. So I'll show you these now. I got these from Hakone. So we took this pirate ship that they have, a uh, sightseeing boat. And on the other side of the lake that we crossed, they had a little store and they had this adorable little pirate ship that is a pencil sharpener, see? So this is going on my vanity. Also from Akone, this is a super touristy thing that I got, but I couldn't help myself. It's a ninja sword. It literally says ninja, but it's also a hair comb. I love teasing my hair and I lost my comb last time I went home to New York. So hi, this is perfect. One last thing I got in Hakone. This is for my mom, but by the time this video goes up, she will have it. Doesn't really scream Japan or anything, but thanks man. I don't know why it's spelled ma'am. That's how I've been saying it for years. Thanks, ma'am. So, it's for like your garden or something. You stick it into a plant and my mom likes plants. Here we have a Monsters University towel. Just a little one. I should also probably point out that a lot of the stuff in Japan is cheaper than stuff that you'd find in America. So it's really easy just to see like a cute little thing and be like, oh, it's only like two or three dollars. Why not? Work, study, scare. That's my motto. This is a magnet that I got. I definitely bought this on a whim. I saw this and I grabbed it. It's a bunch of little guys on a boat and it's adorable. I got this at a gift shop in uh, the shrine in Mishima where I was staying. More Monsters, Inc. Teeny tiny little post-its. 
I use post-its now and then. Sully, Boo, George, Tony, Mike, and Randy. Who's Tony? He's the guy who goes, Whoa! That guy. So I actually made a mistake. The man in question, Tony, is actually this lovely shopkeeper from the beginning of the film. I've confused him with this gentleman here, whose name is actually Josh Rivera. I apologize. I'm embarrassed as a Monsters, Inc. fan, and I'm sorry. This was also one of my first purchases, and also a very impulse buy. It's a dinosaur bath bomb. I've been taking a lot of baths since I moved to Florida because I have a nice big tub. I'm into bath bombs now, and these dinosaurs are super cute! You know, in Japan, a lot of the stuff they sell is cute. So a lot of times we would walk into a store, and my friend would be like, Look at all these adorable things! And I'd be like, ah! It's like too much for me. Cute is just not my brand. Super cute, adorable, cute, adorable, really cute, it's adorable, super cute. But some things grab me. Things like dinosaurs and Monsters Inc. Speaking of which, I almost forgot that I got this. I also got a Monsters Inc. bath bomb. Right after I got back from the airport, I just needed to take a relaxing bath and chillax. Hello, Sullivan. Hi, Zoe. Zoe, are you happy at home? Monster Thing bath bomb. Very nice. And while I was in the bathroom, I also forgot that I got this. I don't actually know what it does. Hi, me again. I didn't leave the greatest review here, but since I filmed, I learned that if I put it in my hair after it's dry, it tames the frizz. It's not a miracle product or anything, but it works better than anything else I've used. And for $7, hell yeah. Oh well, in case you haven't noticed, I like wearing thigh highs now. This isn't lewd, I am wearing shorts. Thigh highs have been a big part of my wardrobe lately. And also since I've been dyeing my hair green, I've been wearing a lot more skeletal stuff, doing kind of like a barrel Disney bound once in a while. So I saw these skeletal thigh highs. Hi, and I really hope they're decent quality. They don't really look it. I just hope they last a few wears. Lashes, you know, costumes and stuff. Also from this store. <gasps> Circle lenses. If you don't know what circle contacts are, they are a contact lens that are bigger than your actual eye. So the circle of your eye is a little bigger, like a cartoon character. I have not tried them yet. I've actually never worn contacts in my life. I'm so excited to try them out. You'll probably see me use those in the future, hopefully. What else, what else? Um, I got this beauty blender holder, the spongy thing I used to apply my makeup. I needed one, it's got cat ears. Nightmare Before Christmas Ziploc bags. Who thought of that? And it's got more than just Jack and Sally on it. It's got Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Any Nightmare product that has more than Jack and Sally on it is good in my book. And that's just like my favorite kind of purchase. It's useful. I will use these. Since I just mentioned Nightmare Before Christmas, for the sake of my love for Oogie Boogie, I saw these spade and club hair ties. I had to. Here's this bougie as fuck Koopa shell. It's a keychain. I just thought it was funny how fancy it looked. I wish I had a designer bag to put this on just so I can be like, BAM! Nerd em. These are some makeup products. I'm sorry this is so random. I just have a pile over here. I don't know if you noticed. Something that I really wanted to get while I was in Japan was some sort of like peachy pinkish lipstick. The current trend in Japan is to have an ombre to the center of your lip. So you have something lighter colored on the outside and then it turns redder or pinker, just like a darker color on the inside. First, I got this. I don't really like the color on me. It's that color exactly when it's swatched and it's also very matte. I don't think it's a very flattering color on me. I mean, it's fine. This is the winner though. So I actually got this at the Disney store. It's a mini brand. This is genius. So when I say that there's an ombre thing, this does it for you. It's two colors. I am not the most glam at this very second, but that's the look. And it's really cute. It's like dolly lips. Right here we got, this is silly, but it's a light up lollipop that I got at the Kawaii Monster Cafe. If you want to see footage from that, it's all in the vlog. So the deal was if you bought one of these, then after their little dancey show that they did, you could go up on stage and take a picture with them. But as you might have seen in the vlog, I was already up there with them. Don't know what I'm talking about? You gotta watch the other video! Jeez! Is this eatable? Oh my god, it is. These are... Unmentionable. I'll show it to you anyway, because I don't care. The bras and underwear in Japan are so 
cute! They're all so frilly and adorable and I really hope this fits me. So it's a cute little mermaid style with an adorable like Lolita-ish bow with the little dangly gem thing with matching underwear that God I hope fits because my chest is small but my butt is on a slightly other level. We shall see, we shall see. This is a fun one, a full Japanese school uniform because why the hell not? I didn't go to a private school growing up. I didn't get to wear a cute outfit to school every day. You see how I dress, I would have never survived. But I got this plaid skirt. I got it with the red accent so I could match this bow tie. I got this cardigan to go on top of it. Especially with the green hair, it screams anime character. <laughs> Don't judge me, except I know you are. Whatever. And to pull the whole outfit together, I got myself some white thigh highs. Except they're not thigh highs. They are like my height. I don't know. I've already tried the whole outfit on together and I don't think I like them with the scrunchy socks, but I have plenty of socks that would work with it instead. I'll still wear these. And I was hoping these would go with the outfit. These shoes were so much trouble to get. There are these platform Mary Janes. I first found them when I got to Tokyo and I hadn't been to Harajuku yet. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I should wait till I get to Harajuku because they probably have crazier shoes there that are more my style. We got to Harajuku and the same store was there and I saw it as a sign. Like if these are considered Harajuku shoes, maybe I should just get them here. We go in, didn't have my size. They had them in the other store. They didn't have them there. So my friend's friend who lives in Tokyo, she she offered to go to the last store and buy them for me and she actually met me on the last day I was in Japan before I went back to the airport and she gave me the shoes. She bought them, I told her I'd PayPal the money back and you know what happened? I enter my apartment, yay, I have the shoes, I'm gonna try them on and like wear them around the house cause I love them so much. The buckle broke! It snapped right off! I got a DIY a fix. What else, what else? Oh, so now that we're talking about Harajuku, we can get on these. Little star hairpins. I wore them on my Harajuku day. There's like a trend in Japan to wear a whole bunch of hairpins in your hair. I didn't do that, but I wore all three of these in my bangs. I got these hair bows. I like wearing my hair in pigtails. I know, I'm a child. I don't care. Also this hair clip, it's a moon. Jim, my boy, soon will be off to the spaceport. I got these two chokers from this one store. My spike choker is getting really beaten up because I wear it too much. So I got this. Also, I've been wanting a just plain chain necklace for a while. I also got, maybe I should explain this first. So in Harajuku, I didn't get to see as many of the stores as I really wanted to. We went out to dinner, we came back, pretty much all the stores were closed. Rip. So fucking depressing. But one store was still open. I think he was supposed to close, but he saw me come in. He was like, no, no, come on in, come on in. The first thing I grabbed, this was like right outside on like a sale rack. It's a skirt. <laughs> so I was looking through the store and so I am drawn to this scaly red jacket. Like as soon as I see it, I'm like, oh, oh, Sarah, look at this, look at this. Gorgeous, so expensive. Also, where would I wear a scaly red jacket? The guy running the store is trying to help me. He's pulling stuff out and showing me kind of boring-ish stuff. And I'm like, no, no, I was hoping for something a little crazier. And then my friends are like, okay, if you want crazier, then just get the scaly jacket. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And he freaking pulls out, ah, uh, this purple one. When I see purple scales, I immediately think Mal from Disney Descendants, Maleficent, Randall from Monsters, Inc. And I also love the color combination of green and purple. Very Joker, I know. Some people might say Donatello. I think Oogie Boogie. I immediately fall in love with this. And I'm trying to convince myself that I'm not gonna wear it anywhere. It's too expensive. But then I tried it on and all my friends were like, you should get that. I'm like dying. And also, freaking Harajuku closed. So I didn't get to spend all the money that I wanted to spend in Harajuku. You know what? I'm gonna spend it here and get the really cool purple scale jacket. And that's what I did, and I love it. Ah! I don't care if it's over the top. Look at me, I don't care. It's such a lovely purchase and thank you me. It was a very generous gift and I thank you. After I bought the jacket, he was so nice. He just gave me this. I'm not really a bat sort of person, but whatever, it was free. It's not 
you can't really function. And he also, I need to cut this, he literally made this for me. Now I have a purple handcuff spiky choker. I will flaunt my Disney villain fashion with pride. I went to Tokyo Disneyland, so of course I bought stuff. Personally, I just got these assorted caramels. I might try one now. Ah, ah, got these mini ears. <laughs> They're black lace, so they'll match all my frilly little goth stuff that I have. Good purchase. I completely forgot. I also got this. Just a hair flower. Cute, right? I have caramel in my teeth. Eating that was a mistake. I just have hamster pockets of caramel on my teeth now. Fuck. I got this awesome freaking Monsters Inc. hoodie because Disneyland, 50% of Tomorrowland is a Monsters Inc. scare factory or a laugh factory. They had a Monsters Inc. ride and they had a Monsters Inc. store, so I got this. I was mostly drawn to get it because it actually had Randall on it. If your Monsters Inc. merch has Randall on it, I'm getting it. It's a bunch of factory signs. We recycle caution. I've been wearing a lot of neon lately, so right on. And finally, I got this Randall purse. Who decided that Randall deserved to get a purse? I don't know, but thank you. Gosh darn it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I have like some gifts over there. I wasn't sure if I was gonna show them on camera. You know, I'm seeing these people this weekend, why not? So I got this for Chelsea, you know her. I've made several Disney related videos with her. I got her this bag of popcorn. She's coming down for her birthday, so I got her a bunch of shit. Tokyo Disneyland has a bunch of different flavored popcorn. It's kind of like a known snack that they have. So I got this assortment, except what you find in the parks is like barbecue and milk chocolate chocolate and caramel. This is like seafood flavored, but Chelsea loves seafood. One of them is squid and she loves squid, so she can do with that as she will. Here are these dish towels. This one has a few of the rides on here. Tower of Terror, Toy Story Mania. This has a lot of Disney Sea sort of stuff. Dumbo, Cinderella, and it says Tokyo Disney down here. You know, Disney World theme. And Chelsea loves Disney World. She's a homeowner, so dish towel. And also, Chelsea loves dogs and Mickey bars. So I got her dog, a Mickey bar. Dog friendly, it's a. There's that. So these are all gifts for my family. This came from a boutique at Mishima Shrine. They closed the bag with this little clip. I don't know if it's a hair clip, maybe it is. And it says, every day throughout this season, I'm going to send you a smile. I very sincerely wish you happy. This is stuff I got my mom for Mother's Day. Since this video is out after Mother's Day, this doesn't matter. Blue flowery earrings, because my mom's very glam. I'm not gonna open this because I want her to be able to open it when she gets it. I got her this blue flowery belt. And it gave me like all these postcards for free. This also came from Mishima Shrine. I got these two decks of golden Japanese style playing cards. My brother's a professional poker player. My dad also loves playing poker. So I got these for my brother and my dad. It's fancy. And finally, I don't actually know who I'm giving this to yet. I think I might give it to my grandparents, but I'm gonna end on this because it's kind of cool. I was in Japan during the change of the eras as a new emperor came into power. At the shrine, they had this, I think it's a pen holder, but I think it can also be used as like a candle holder or something. It's this gorgeous gold, I don't know. I thought it was really pretty. I think it's gonna look really nice on someone's desk. And roughly translated, the characters right here, dawn of a new era, dawn of a new world. It represents what happened historically while I was there. Pretty dang cool. And there you have it. I told you I got a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was actually a really fun and relaxing video to make. If you haven't yet, you should check out the whole vlog that I did on Japan, because then you'll have all of the behind the scenes of where I was. Like when I say I was in Hakone, you'll see the footage from Hakone. When I was in Harajuku, you'll see Harajuku. It was a wonderful time, and I am sure to go back eventually. I have a lot of memories connected to all the stuff I got here, so there is something to buying souvenirs. I told myself that this was gonna be a trip of a lifetime. Just treat yourself. And I did. And I'm really happy about it. Thank you for watching. Follow me on social media under Archer Ninja Turtle. You know all that shit. And that's it. The name is R2 and I'm out. Bye. Ugh. Also, wow, look at this headband. It's so cute and I forgot to put it in. Okay, bye.